by monitoring our customer database, Equifeast have learned that a key part of getting the best behaviour from your horse is getting the magnesium level of their diet right. This video covers the downsides of not only too little magnesium, but also too much. Over the past decade or so, magnesium has become a more and more common additive in feeds and horse calming supplements. Reading the promotional material in horse magazines, you would be forgiven for believing that magnesium cannot sedate and that any excess in the diet is simply excreted. Our research, the scientific literature, our own testing of horses and our detailed assessment of the customer feedback on thousands of horses suggests that this is wrong. And we find that when we help people to optimize magnesium levels in their horses' diets, and they use V-calculated calcium supplements, we can achieve enormous behavioral and performance success rates in about 90% of difficult horses. It is important to note that magnesium is not bad. In fact, insufficient magnesium leads to poor animal function and poor behavior. As a result, we sell supplements that contain magnesium to about half of the horses we deal with. But too much magnesium can make matters worse, and in extreme cases, can be catastrophic. We are going to start with just such a story, not because it's typical, it isn't, but because it does illustrate what excess magnesium really can do. Highly recommended. He's 14 now, and we've had him since he was a five-year-old, before he started his eventing career. And we have always struggled with his behavior on the flat and out hacking. And we developed with what we knew in the market, a protocol that saw us get better results on the flat, but it, it essentially made, um, was made up of applying every form of magnesium to that horse that we could. He had double loading doses of chelated magnesium orally. Uh, we used to spray it over his coat so it observed, absorbed dermally. We would sit him in buckets of magnesium so that it was absorbed through his feet. And essentially, that horse would go into the dressage as he did um, last year at Adelaide Four Star with it coming out of every pore in his body. The downside of that, and we were kind of taking our wins as we could from it in that he was terribly rideable, but it was a bit more like riding a drug addict uh, or, a, or a drunk and um, all the aids, the reaction time was really dumbed down. So you might ask and three steps later get the answer that you wanted. And it, it, it actually got to the point where we entered on our first center line and historically he would turn down the center line at A and grab the bit and, and start taking off basically. I often think I was going to end up sitting in the judge's car with them. But um, he actually entered at A and just was beautiful. And normally I'd ride a little half halt um, in preparation for my transition. And I rode the first half halt and he gave me a transition, two markers too early. So, and it just was flat. And the whole test lacked that exuberance that you really want. And I really struggled because the horse that I was riding was not the horse that I trained. So even though we had a much better temperament for the test at a very high level in a very big atmosphere, it was very difficult for me as the rider because the horse I was riding was not the horse I trained. The other interesting thing that we found at, um, at Adelaide that year was that, um, and of course I'd always heard from the show jumpers without mentioning any brand names, we used a particularly expensive um, form of collated magnesium and a lot of the show jumpers at high levels that I talked to said they stopped using it because it took the jump out of their horse and at Adelaide last year there was a bounce into the first water and after the dressage we thought we're just going to go out and school some little bouncers and just get him a little bit sharper um, in preparation for the cross country the next day and he was once again, like sitting on a drunken sailor, he was really quite flat and not at all sharp in his reactions. And he really struggled even to jump a 90 centimeter bounce. And I, I was quite put off by it because obviously the next day he was going around his first four-star track. And um, in the end, we actually walked in and decided to just walk away from that. We had a light school the next day after the magnet. 
these even run out. But I would never want to go across country on a horse that had that much magnesium in it, and it was an interesting lesson for us. Due to what we have seen and heard from our customers, Equifeast offers all of its karmas with varying levels of magnesium. This allows us to tailor the magnesium levels of our supplements to best suit your horse's current diet and requirements. Contact Equifeast now to find out if your horse is likely to require magnesium in their karma.